Welcome to our next video. We're talking about money. What is money? How can we explain money? The properties of money are those three. Everything that has those three properties can be called money. First, medium of exchange. Let's just take a look. How do we interchange goods? We could change them with barter. We could change like a cup of tea for, say, a glass of water. So one glass of water for one cup of tea, or two glasses of water for one cup of tea, where, whatever the exchange rate might be between those two goods. So those two alternatives, having barter and having money, with barter you need to have the double coincidence of wants. You need to have somebody who is willing to accept your cup of tea and another person who is willing to accept your glass of water. And that's the problem. That's the problem with barter. In an economy with money, you don't have that, that problem. The double coincidence of wants with barter is somehow complicated. With money, it's not that complicated. So, medium of exchange is very important to know about money. First property. Second property, unit of account. Look at this. Can you see what this is? It's a coin, sure. It's a one euro coin, valued in the euro zone. So you could just as well take one dollar coin or whatever currency you want to take. And any single good can be interchanged, can be valued, can be measured within that or with that coin. Like take a cup of tea, for example, a cup of tea might cost you five euros in the eurozone or three dollars in the United States of America. So that's the second property that money has the property of unit of account. Everything can be interchanged with money and can be like, can be valued with money. So you can say with any single good, $3 for that good or $5 or $7.50. Third and last property, store value. In a barter, with barter, like if the cup of tea breaks, you don't have a cup of tea any longer. And if you want to get two glasses of water for one cup of tea and the cup of three tea breaks, there is no, no need any longer or no possibility any longer for you to get the glass of water. That's the problem with store of value. I don't want to say there is no problem with the store of value in money, with money, because there is inflation. So money also loses store of value or money also loses value, but store of value is a property with money. So everything that shows those three properties is money. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.